Hi, my name is Mehmet Özkaya and welcome to my course. .NET 8 Microservices, Domain Driven Design, CQRS, Vertical and Clean Architecture. I am a software architect and currently focusing on .NET Microservice Architecture, Design and Implementation. So in this course, we are going to learn microservices on .NET platform which used ASP.NET Web API, Docker, RabbitMQ, Mass Transit, gRPC, YARP API Gateway, PostgreSQL, Redis, SQLite, SQL Server, Martin, Entity Framework Core, CQRS, Mediator, and so on. Here you can find the sample eShop.NET Microservice Reference Application Architecture, and this sample application, powered by Microsoft, based on a simplified microservice architecture and backing services on cloud native environment. As you can see the architecture, different client application consumes backend services via API gateways, each microservice has different architecture style and databases, and using synchronous and asynchronous communication with event buses. So we are going to follow this reference application and create our own e-commerce microservice application with using latest implementation and the best practices of .NET 8 on cloud native environments. So this is the our big picture of the course project and during the course we are going to develop all these microservice architectures step by step and together. There is a couple of microservices which implemented e-commerce modules. E-commerce microservices are catalog, basket, discount, ordering, YARP API gateway microservices and shopping web client application. And these microservices data will store NoSQL and relational databases with communicating over gRPC and RabbitMQ event-driven communication and also using YARP API gateway for client operations. The course proposes a microservice-oriented architecture implementation with multiple autonomous microservices, each one owning its own databases with seeding some data and implementing different design approaches within each microservices, vertical or clean architectures using HTTP and gRPC as the communication protocol between the microservices and support asynchronous communication for microservice updates across multiple services based on domain and integration events and an event bus as a RabbitMQ. So now let's deep dive into internal microservice architectures one by one. I'm going to start catalog microservices internal architecture. Here you can see the catalog microservices internal architecture and here you can see the database using from the catalog microservices and here you can see the NuGet packages that we are using in the catalog microservices. So in the catalog microservices, we will using ASP.NET Core minimal APIs and latest features of the .NET 8 and C Sharp 12. It includes vertical slice architecture implementation with feature folders and single C Sharp file include different classes in one file. It also includes CQRS implementation using the Mediator library and includes CQRS validation pipeline behaviors with Mediator and Fluent validation and catalog microservice use Martin library for .NET transactional document database on PostgreSQL. So a product microservice database will be PostgreSQL but acting as a document database using the Martin library. And also it uses Carter for minimal API endpoint definition and it also implement cross-cutting concerns like logging, global exception handling and health checks. And it is also implement Docker file and Docker compose file for running product microservices and PostgreSQL database in a Docker environment. So the next microservices is basket microservices which include all above the catalog microservice items in the basket microservices including the ASP.NET 8 web API application following the REST API principles CRUD operations and using Redis as a distributed cache over the basket database and basket microservices implements proxy, decorator and cache aside patterns and consume discount gRPC microservices for inter-service synchronous communications in order to calculate product final price. And it also publish basket checkout queue with using mass transit and RabbitMQ and containerized basket microservices with Redis and PostgreSQL database. So the next microservices is discount microservices which include ASP.NET gRPC service application build highly performant inter-service gRPC communication with discount and basket microservices and apply the gRPC communication with proto files CRUD operations and exposing gRPC services with creating these protobuf files and using SQLite database connection and containerization and using Entity Framework Core ORM SQLite data provider and migrations to simplify data access and ensuring high performance and applying N-layer architecture implementation and containerized discount microservices with SQLite database using Docker Compose. And last microservices is ordering microservices 
that is following more complex patterns implementing domain driven design, CQRS and clean architecture with using best practices and apply solid principles and dependency injection principles and use domain events and integration events and also using entity framework core, code first approach, migrations, domain driven design, entity configurations, clean architecture implementation on entity framework core and SQL server. And it is also consuming RabbitMQ basket checkout event queue with using the mass transit and RabbitMQ configuration. And lastly, containerize organic microservices with SQL server databases. And after that, we can talk about microservices asynchronous communication with RabbitMQ mass transit for checkout order between basket and organic microservices. So we will be using asynchronous microservice communication with RabbitMQ message broker service and using RabbitMQ publish subscribe topic exchange model and using mass transit for abstraction over the RabbitMQ message broker system and publishing basket checkout event queue from the basket microservices and subscribing this event from the organic microservices. We will create event bus message library and add reference into these microservices and containerize RabbitMQ message queue system with the basket and organic microservices using the Docker Compose. And after that, we will explain YARP API gateway microservices. We will develop API gateways with YARP reverse proxy applying the gateway routing pattern and implement the YARP reverse proxy configuration including route, cluster, path, transform and destinations. And we will also apply rate limiting with fixed window limiter on YARP reverse proxy configuration. And we will containerize YARP API gateway microservices using the Docker Compose. And lastly, we will develop shopping web client application, which is ASP.NET Core Razer web application with Bootstrap 4 and Razer template. And it consumes YARP API gateway APIs using the refit library and with generated HTTP client factories and applying Bootstrap 4 Tema implementation, ASP.NET Core Razer tools, view components, partial views, tag helpers, model binding and validations and so on. And we will containerize these shopping web client application using the Docker Compose. So that means we will learn how to develop microservices with .NET 8 into enterprise real world applications. So we will implement different architecture styles including domain driven design, vertical slice and clean architecture. And we will implement different patterns like solid principles, dependency injection principles, CQRS and mediator pattern, options pattern, proxy and decorator pattern, publish subscribe pattern and API gateway pattern. And after that, we will implement different database types, including NoSQL and relational databases. We will use transactional document DB, PostgreSQL, SQLite, SQL Server, distributed cache Redis, and message brokers async communication with RabbitMQ and mass transit library. And we will use popular .NET libraries, including Carter, Martin, Mediator, Fluent Validation, Mapster, Mass Transit, Entity Framework Core, and Refit. And we will implement different communication styles including synchronous and asynchronous communication between microservices and building highly performant inter-service communication with gRPC. And we will also following the microservice async communication with publish subscribe design pattern using the RabbitMQ and mass transit for checkout order between basket and ordering microservices. And we will be building API gateways with using YARP reverse proxy applying the gateway routing pattern. So, this course comes from the live GitHub repository that .NET community develop and grow with together. I'm also developing ASP.NET run repositories on GitHub with latest .NET 8 and create course from these repositories. So, this course is the main repository of the ASP.NET run ecosystem and this is a lively course and evolve with repository chains. So, this course has one main target, to be a master of developing .NET 8 microservices with patterns, principles, and the best practices. This course is designed for the software developers and architects and includes 95% of the hands-on design and development activities, apply best practices with cloud native microservices design patterns and principles, and latest features of the C Sharp 12 and .NET 8 and ASP.NET 8 like minimal APIs, primary constructors, and so on. By the end of the course, you will gain real-world experience and you will have a solid understanding of the .NET 8 microservices and will be ready to design, develop and deploy your own microservice applications. I hope you will join me on this journey and develop .NET 8 microservices with me.